Good evening. Hello and welcome. We're playing Pokemon Scarlet again. Because I want to. And that's about it. Uh, yesterday, we defeated the... Poison Team Star base thing. And went back, figured out how to fly, which is great. And now we are back to uh, one of the first zones, I think. Poking around for some new uh, friends. So that's where we're at now. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to start off with a nice trader battle. Go to the academy, right? You know about Team Star? I do. It's not okay. Angel the Courier. I'm only fighting these trainers because I'm sure there's going to be a like reward from the Pokemon Center over there if I beat a bunch of them. I don't want to see what that is. Because I'm obviously not gaining any relevant XP. It's also the reason why I didn't revive my other Pokemon. So busy thinking about Team Star, I lost. Oh, sad day for you. Looking around for anything new. Now, this is a dragon type Terrastalize Pokemon. Not Terrastalize, like a raid. Which is Terrastalize, but. It's perfect! Oh, yes. I, I still don't have one of these tentacles yet. This is the perfect opportunity. Once we get done being flashbanged.
Oh boy, we got some Toad's Cool Flaps. Excellent. Just what I needed. <laughs> Toad's Cool lives in muddy forests, muggy forests. The flaps that fall from its body are chewy and very delicious. Ew. Oh, it doesn't even have a dragon type attack. What a scam. Can I interest you in our daily battle special? Our regulars say it's electrifying. Alba the Waitress. Just use flash cannon. Shot it in the face. Wow, that's it too. Unreal. Sorry, right, I probably have a million paralyzed heals at 18. Look at that. Beautiful. What is this? It's a diglet. Oh boy. It's a rock type diglet. Wait, I never caught a Diglett before? I said it was registered. Okay. It lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots and sometimes appears above ground. What do you have? Rock Tomb. Alright, cool. Yeah, I caught a dog trio, but not a diglet. Look at that. It's pretty incredible, honestly. Check me out. I'm 60 and still kicking. I'm even off to take on a gym. Manual the student. Manuel. Spupa. Let me guess you're a poison type. Check me out, I'm 60 and getting beat before I even get to the gym. Get wrecked, idiot. <sighs> oh, 
Oh yeah, speaking of, I have a ton of like stat boosters and stuff. But who am I kidding? I'm giving those all to my Umbreon. Obviously. Still out there just murdering people? Probably. Ooh. So I'm glad that Cupid and uh, Luxray, Pyroar, all had, like, relatively early evolutions. To pair with Ponyard to Pupitar, which are going to take fucking forever. Dude, nice Aerocross. What up, homie? Yeah, flex on him. wonder if that's a hint. Start battering, ramming trees. See if I can knock a hair across that one. That was mentioned at one point that that was a thing. So you to bash trees to knock Pokemon out. Well, I guess we're here. Let's get it. Okay. Thanks. Can't know exactly why I'm really tired today, but... Hopefully find something to keep us awake here. Hey, it's me! How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? Seriously? I'm close by. Hang on, I'll come say hi. What up? There you are. Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome! This is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up for a challenge for sure, but, like, just to be safe, you probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Let's do it. Yeah, that's the enthusiasm. Now let's go. Come on, the field of battle awaits. All right, bet. Let's go, Namona. You and me. Before you take on a gym, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see where the court is, what it's made of, stuff like that. It takes about effect how the battle goes. You know, one look at your face, it's obvious you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I started introducing you to some of my harder hitters. Ready? Let's get it. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Rock Rock. Alright. I don't know what that is. <laughs> hey, Kurei. Think of this as a practice run for your next gym battle. Come at me with everything you got. Pretty sure that's what you said. Yep, definitely not stalking you. Just, uh, hey, I was just down the road. You know? Hey, I'll be right there. Fight me. Ooh, nice moves. Your skills sure are ripening. 
Ray. My moves are now more ripe. A palmy? Now nah, you're good. Bring it on. Yeah. Oh, fuck off, dude. It's like the second time in a row you've gotten instantly paralyzed by a static. Don't pat yourself on the back yet. My next Pokemon's gonna turn the tables. Crocolore. Yo, he's got a sombrero now? Yo, this guy's legit. Hell yeah. Since you have a Terror Orb, we can both terrestrialize our Pokemon fair and square. Nice hat, bro. You got a candelabra on top of your sombrero. Let's try out that new move of yours. Use incinerate. Yeah. Oh shit, did it get to attack first? I'm sad. Oh, it's because I'm paralyzed. The Oh. Oh. What's up, Kuroi? How you doing tonight, man? Had to, just had to, you know, really appreciate the uh, the sombrero there for a few minutes. Huh? Yep, your skills are ripening quick. Fuck you, pay me. It's my payment for you stalking me. Man, you sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges. It was a great battle. Fruitful for sure. Here, take these as thanks. Full heals. Hell yeah. I challenge you again, literally right now, but champions have to be understanding. So I'll hang back and respect your time. <laughs> Keep on collecting badges for now, and let's battle next time we run into each other at a gym. And Platy? I hope you get even stronger. Like, way, way, way stronger. You know... I know they, they intended for Mona to be like really Nimona to be really like really cute and like wholesome here, but like that's this is given like an on it like a, a sinister undertone almost with like the, the storm going on in the background. You know? Maybe it's just me. But yeah. And once you do, you and me could just battle our hearts out. Alright, time for you to whoop that gym test. Thanks for this. Another tough day at work. Uh, sucks, man. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be... Blech. I know, right? Tomorrow at work is going to be rough. For me. So. Tomorrow, Saturday, and Monday are like the tip top of our peak season at work. And, uh,. It's going to get pretty wild. Okay. 
Okay. Gym time. Okay, was that my was that my entry into the gym? I just get to fight the gym leader, right? Welcome to the Cortando Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Great, noted face gym leader Katie. You'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Cotondo Gym, that means taking on the olive roll? Olive production is a big part of life in Cortondo. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. The staffer over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location on your map. It's just to the north of town. Now get out there and have fun. Fun. Yes, that's just the, uh... Just the thing I think of when I think about rolling a giant ball shaped like an olive. Fun. I hope it doesn't have some janky ass physics. That would be really annoying. Oh, I didn't see you. I was thinking, I was looking at the mini map and I was like, oh, wait. Yeah, he said north of town. There's a whole bunch of small lives here. Maybe it's not just north of town. Maybe they want me to take the path here. I will say, the open world traversal is probably the weakest part of this game. I find it very tedious and quite boring. back to it. Coin, coin. Three give me gold coins. Ow. Hey, I want to fight you. I'm just stand there. Collected a ton of materials, Pokemon drop. Now I think I'll start collecting some prize money. Oh yeah? Well, you're gonna have to find somebody else, nerd. I'm about to beat your ass. Raul the student. Raul. We're gonna call him Raul.
Doctor. I think. Did I catch one of these yet? I don't remember. I did. Okay, good. Try to cut it a little close, I guess, around that one. Oh, wait. That looks like a giant olive. Is this my practice run then? Alright, I think I got a grasp on rolling the olive. Welcome to the olive rolling field. The gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? Fuck yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. Great! Put in a wish for good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. Yeah, okay, guy. Oh. oh shit, oh, I fucked it up. Oh no, stay in the arena. Oh god. I was never very good at Rocket League. Fight eager lackeys. Oh man. So we have a temp at work, and uh, she was talking about how she was looking at something on her phone, and she was like, Yeah, I was just checking. Like, me and my friends, we play League of Legends. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I have some friends who play League. And she was like, oh yeah, we have this, there's this website that tracks how much you spend on it. 
And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, it's a free-to-play game, but it sells skins, so sure thing. And she goes, oh, I've only spent like 200 something dollars. And I was like, that's, I mean, that is surprisingly, <clears throat> a, a surprisingly high amount of restraint. I have friends who have spent thousands of dollars on like League of Legends or Dota, like skins, champions, and stuff like that. So, and she was like, well, I do have a lot of skins, but I don't buy them. And I was like, she was like, people buy them for me. And I was like, oh, so you're an e-girl. And she got so pissed. She was like, no, I don't ask them to. And she just got so defensive. It was the funniest shit. <laughs> She's like, I'm not an e-girl. Anyway, with that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations. Please report your results to the lobby staff at the gym. Good luck in your battle against Katie. Bet. Let's get it. Oh, Jesus. There are so many things out here that need to be beat up for materials. There's Jigglypuffs. There's Igglybuffs. There's Fidos. It's a lot of fairies, honestly. It's a ton of fairy types. And one of my other co-workers is, uh kind of an older guy, he was like, what's an e-girl? And I was like, oh lord, here we go. So he googled it. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was... It was a quick spiral down. The mugging path? Is that what this is? I just want materials. I think all my Pokemon are good. Alright, yeah, let's go. Oh, look, there's some small lives on the roof. It's adorable. All right, let's fight. Welcome back. I hear you're gonna roll out there. Jesus Christ. A big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test. You now earn the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Ready to challenge gym leader Katie, the, the sugar bug? Okay. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely something. Okay. Eat up, my cute little pavilion. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I am the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as gym leader of Cortando Gym right now. Forgive me. <laughs> My name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cortondo. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you want to find yourself knocked off your feet. Alright, sounds good, Katie. Let's fucking get it.
All right, we're up against a cricket. Don't take my bug type Pokemon lightly. You'd be in a world of pain if you do. Yeah, we're just gonna start off strong here and just. I don't plan on switching my guy out, so. Oh shit, dude. He's got an axe! Stuck in his head! Teddy Ursa? That's not a bug type. I bet it terrestrializes to bug, though. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things from here? Yep. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. Yep. Makes sense. Oh, how come they only cheer for you and not for me? What the fuck? My Pokemon's been terrestrialized for forever. All of my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. Yeah, I'm kind of over-leveled, sorry. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed as proof of your victory against me, the gym leader. Allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Yeah, lady, if you're cooking, I'm eating. Just saying. Fucking send it. Just gonna go out and say, like, being single is kind of nice. Because, uh, if I had someone cooking for me, I would be even fatter, and trust me, I don't need to be any fatter than I am. With three gym badges in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 35 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about these? How about a little TM as a frosting on this cake? Pounce. The user attacks by pouncing onto the target. It also lowers the target speed stat. Okay. Sure. Seems alright. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can then use a TM machine to make copies of it. Did you know that? I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go, then. Until we meet again. I feel like she was just trying to be like, Alright, get the fuck out. I gotta get back to work. This bakery ain't gonna run itself, pal. Oh, hi. Pardon me. Hello. Nice hair. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? Your name is Platy, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? Yeah. Ah, oh, just what I'd hoped to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high. Greater heights are within your reach. Oh, I've gotten ahead of myself. I am Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. Okay. 
Thanks. Okay, so now that we've beaten this gym, I think our next target is probably here. It's pretty close. I kind of want to go to this normal type thing and see if it's an Eevee. You know? Honestly. Like, I don't think that's how it works, but I'm going to go anyway. Mostly because it's just not that far. Oh, it's down here. I went the opposite direction. Alright, cool. First, let me check the map, see what's around. Nothing relevant. Got it. <coughs> also, I'm just presuming this is a normal type. That's a diglet. I don't care that much. I'll just take the F, the LP, and go. And the orb terrestrialization recharge thing. Alright, where am I going? We're going... Uh, well, there's a couple different ways we can go. I feel like I want to go to the Psychic Trainer, though. Because then, like, that's the only thing in this direction. It's there, and then we can loop back down this way and go to the, the rest of these Team Star guys. Cool. Let's get it. Keep doing that. My sprint button in Elden Ring and Dark Souls and insert name of souls like here is my um, right bumper. It's my roll and sprint key. Oh shit. I didn't reach. But, like, I keep pressing that button to try and start sprinting on Coridon. And it doesn't work. Hi, Psyduck. Oh! Come on! Come on! Please! Yes! Fucking... Oh! Let's go! An Arcanine? It's only level 30.
It's got a good fire move set too. And a Scyther? Bruh. This place is dope. It's got all the bangers from Gen 1. All I need is a Dratini in the background there. Oh wait, come back! Okay. Please stop injuring yourself. I know you're not injuring yourself much because you're not doing much damage, but please stop. I want to capture you. Yeah. Alright. Alright. The legendary Pokemon Arcanine. An ancient picture scroll shows that people were captivated by its movements as it ran through prairies. <laughs> you know, that uh, that stat line is not too far off from me. I'm not quite 340 pounds, but I am six foot three. Let's check this move set out: Flame Wheel, Takedown, and Flamethrower pretty good I I do want to use new Pokemon though so I'm not gonna use the Arcanine but you know we can always be in the pocket got him never saw it coming ooh the Scyther is much lower level Scyther's hitting hard. Alright, fair enough. I don't know if any of my Pokemon can not one-shot it now, so I guess we'll just do this to tank his hits and try and catch it. Feels kind of bad. I did pick up some extra net balls, though, so... Hell yeah. Easy get. Alright, slashes through grass with its sharp scythes, moving too fast for the human eyes to track. Alright, cool. No, oh, get out of the water. Yeah, man, it's just scrambled egg. Hey, another sight there. Fucking got him. Oh, they're just everywhere out here. What in the fuck are you? A goomy.
Oof. One tapped. Alright. I need to find something a little less powerful. Oh, it's a fan pee. I thought it was a Meryl. There are so many Merrills running around. Look at that. Look at this little guy. He's trying his best. Heal up Curly and swap her in. Oh, sorry, swap him in. My bad. This is our male Curly. That we're specifically leveling because we got Gardevoir. Now we want Gallade. That's highly unfortunate. I'm just gonna get roll out of the death right here, right? I think this will kill. Yep. Okay. Well, let's try something else though. get. Alright, this Pokemon lives and nests on a riverbank. After playing in the mud, it won't be able to settle down unless it washes its body. Yeah, I can feel that. I can show up home after a, a show beat to shit and tired and just ready to pass out, but I ain't climbing into my bed until I've showered, so... I definitely feel that. Okay. I have to pee real quick. I'll be back. Long nose Pokemon.
keep crashing my bike into the uh... what the hell are you into the tree hoping it'll knock something out of it what the hell is this thing toxel Okay, well, it's very very squishy. I guess compared to a Fampy. Fampy's are pretty tanky. Toxel Sparks. Sparks. What are you? Hold on, someone's calling me who almost never calls me, so something's probably wrong. I'll be back in a minute. Not something wrong. Hunting for gift advice for a friend. There we go. All right, I need to grab a. I, I need to grab a different Pokemon. Do? Oh, it's just slightly doing it. Okay. Nice, we have full swipe. That's perfect. I might train this Scyther because we were looking for a false swiper to begin with. Something to keep stuff alive. Scyther's not exactly the tankiest Pokemon, but it'll do. this thing to stay in the fucking ball. There we go. First place I find some Ultra Balls, dude. I'm gonna stock up. 
and revives. Electric poison. Has no problem drinking dirty water. An organ inside Toxel's body filters such water into a poisonous liquid that is harmless to Toxel. Well, there you go. What a lad. He's one of my bajillion paralyzed heals. Oh, that's that's energy powers. What I want. There we go. Enjoy that. Okay. Attack fell. Okay. Calm Pokemon. Because the emotions of others constantly flow into its head, this Pokemon prefers environments where no other creatures live. Huh. Alright. So all of my attacks are neutral against it, but it has Absorb, which is generally a Grass-type attack. What is this thing? It could be like Grass Poison, maybe? No, then Flying would be good against it. Water gun? I don't know. It's gonna tell me here in a second. Oh, it's a dragon! Color me intrigued. Most of Agumi's body is water. A membrane covers the whole Pokemon to prevent it from shriveling up in dry weather. No. But welcome to the team? Wow, Meryl is tanky. <laughs> A critical hit. Like, again, we don't have stab or anything, but... Oh, man.
we win this fight, even just spamming Absorb. Oh, fuck yeah. Got him. Related. Uh, let's check this out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Charizard's not a dragon. That's silly. These things are dragons. Fucking Apple. An executor, a Lolan executor. That's good stuff. <laughs> okay. Look, <laughs> Gumi might be having a hard time with a Meryl, but Meryls are kind of chunky to begin with, so. We'll, uh, we'll see how it does against some other enemies in the area. Absorb's also not the strongest attack, either. It's got a relatively low power, as far as I remember. Yeah, 20. It's quite low. And Dragon Breath is good. Would have Stab, but Mero is, uh... Berry-type, so... Alright, let's try this out. Let's just catch it. Remove the threat entirely. There we go. Oh shit, it lost? Oh no. Okay, fair enough. There we go. Okay. Alright, the sun is not having a good time here. Oh, lord. <laughs> Pounce on him. It's a riot loop. If you're not familiar, this evolves into a Lucario. Oh. See, I kind of really want to keep Rylu in a Great Ball. 
because it matches his aesthetic. But I also kind of want to use a uh, like heal ball just to put it to full health. But kind of matches the aesthetic. It's got the black line in the middle and the blue. Emanation Pokemon. They communicate with one another using their auras. Able to run all through the night. I mean, I've, I've used Tyranitar in other playthroughs plenty of times, so it feels like, I don't know, it just feels like I should try other Pokemon out and I want to. And being in these lower levels, or these low level areas, is kind of the perfect spot to do it. Just go ahead and start getting some XP on these little guys. held items. Hey there. May as well use some of these items if I bought them all. Ultra Ball. Palming Berry. You know, I'm really just not feeling the dragon type power behind this Pokemon. Maybe we get it to like. Use some XP dust or whatever on it to level it up a little bit. Get its evolution. See if maybe it's just because it's like a first evolution. It's just kind of lackluster at the moment. Like, I got a ton of these. Like, literal bajillion of these things.
whale. Sure. Sure. Have a flail. Oh. Water pulse. Yeah, we can remove water gun. It's not having any problem killing stuff now, though. It is overleveled a bit. It's just chest bump and everything. Oh, hi. seeing anything else around here I want to capture. We have a pretty insane area here though. We got a Rylu, Scyther, Arcanine, a bunch of new friends, basically. Only thing I'm missing is my Eevee. Oh shit, my Gumi's getting wrecked. Ah, it's not a physical attack, nerd. have my Rylu, I just wanted the, uh, just wanted the candy, or whatever it is, Rylu fur. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know if I have this bird yet. What are you? You're a Fletchindu. I don't have this bird yet. What a good bird. Excellent. It's a fire flying type. Fletchinder scatters embers and tall grass where bug Pokemon might be hiding, then catches them as they come leaping out. What a badass. Oh, it's the evolved form of Fletchling. Okay. Cool. Excuse me. Let's get down to it. Please forgive my being barefoot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He grew up and he he learned how to do uh he, he read Sun Tzu's Art of War and he's ready to go. Okay. And thus the Scorched Earth strategy served him well. So that's pretty decent damage. Now again, I see that we're a little bit overleveled by comparison. But... I mean, we're, like, we're 10 levels over at this point. That's actually quite a bit. I don't think wearing boots would have helped you battle better, but I mean, you know, you never know, I suppose. Okay, you know, that's fair. Dude, I've got a procession following me here. Rock Smash? Do I care about Rock Smash? Yes, I'll take it. Do you guys, like, just all want to die? Because, like, we'll oblige.
Okay. I feel like I've gotten sidetracked. I don't know if I ever caught this whooper or not. This type of whooper. I did. Okay, good. Wanna fight this Scyther? Keep the Scyther materials? Okay. Seriously? I'm gonna sit here and just fight an evasion spamming wild scyther. Leave. Besides, I said I just want the materials, so just go punch him in the face. around and going the full on wrong way. I need to go up the oh I see. This river is not something I just cross over here. So let's go look over here. Okay. Well this looks promising so far. business here. I think we're going to have to go all the way down this way to here. Oh, this is so convoluted. I could have just left Cortando and done it that way, but this way we get to explore. Yeah. Oh, hi. So this Pokemon just like really trying to be Eevee? Or not Eevee, Pikachu? The fuck? One of the kinds of Pokemon with electric cheek pouches shoots charges from his tail. <laughs> Shocking. They're just like, yeah, it's one of the Pikachu things. Just don't think about it too hard. I'm here for it, I guess. Ah, 
I tried to throw my Pokemon at it first. It didn't work. Well, I wonder if Layla is any good right now. Speaking of, it yeah, probably would have been pretty good to be using it like 10 HP. Just dancing around each other. Got him. It was like such a waste to hit a dead end and turn back. Just turn back with nothing to so show, so shall we? That was actually kind of hard to say. Hiker Carla. Expected more. I should have just turned back. Fuck you, pay me. Dragon Claw, huh? That will probably be very useful if my Gumi ever evolves into something that has claws. But until then, we're chilling. That's fine. Looking at maps that are not always like that aren't stationary, They're like the mini map. What the hell are you? It's literally a flower. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Uh, yes. It has a wheel under its chest and a wheel under its butt. It's just clearly a fairy type. It's 
kind of a motorcycle, yeah. Its only purpose is for us to ride it, so... Semi-accurate, I would say. <sighs> so what are you up to tonight, bud? Going on. Oh, fuck off. Man. Well, there's another one right here. Let's just do that. Except this one's orange. Finish him doting about half of the night. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like jet lagged a little bit, kind of. Yeah. Feel that. Well, yeah, I might get some sleep. Feel better. I mean, you guys were out there for what, like a week, week and a half almost? It's understandable. Out of La Bebe. It's a single bloom Pokemon. This La Bebe rides an orange flower. On its head, it wears a crown of pollen that has healing properties. That's a height of four inches. Nice. Two weeks. BBs are made for yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you're uh, you're like a good dad or something, so you decided not to do that, huh? It's the sacrifices we make. Using the royal we, of course. I am single as fuck. And do not have kids. Weedle? Oh no, it's one of these stupid fucking things. Young goose. Okay, let's see. Yep. This is where we're going. So, I mean, it looks like it's going to be better for me to just go back to Cortando at this point. I didn't even realize how awful it was going to be to, like, navigate this terrain.
Okay, so we go up this way. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even see this thing. In front of my fucking motorcycle. Oh, look, a manky. I suppose that's to be expected with Stab against a Pokemon that's like 10 plus levels lower. Put me in the world slam. Uh, I'm hungry. This whole not eating dinner thing, it's great for weight loss. I've lost like almost 15 pounds over the last week or two, like week, week and a half, something like that. Just by, because normally in American culture, you eat a lot of food for like dinner. Max, it's attack, you say. And for me, dinner doesn't happen until like 7.30, 8 o'clock-ish most nights. So... Oh, fuck off. Yeah, lottery my way to dead. Okay, never mind. And then I would go to sleep around 11 o'clock to midnight. So I'd just eat so much food at nighttime, and then just go to sleep. And my body would just turn all of that into fat. So, now, not eating dinner is actually quite good. It lives in groups in the treetops. If it loses sight of its group, it becomes infuriated by its loneliness. Alright, let's see Mankey's summary. Alright, it has uh, got a low kick, which is nice. Um, apparently, it looks like its nature is attack down, which I'm not great. It's got a calm Pokemon. It's got a calm nature. But it has... What's, how do I see its skill? What skill does it have? Okay. I was curious about that Max is this attack thing. That's a interesting way of putting that dialogue. Oh, fuck off. What are you? A Capsa kid. You've got to be a grass type, right? Yeah. Yeah. But what is it?
spicy pepper Pokemon. The more sunlight this Pokemon bathes in, the more spicy chemicals are produced by its body, and thus the spicier its moves become. Uh -huh. Say, Capsaicin is like spicy something or other. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it has to do with spice. It's funny that it's Capsa Kid. Oh, hey. I think I saw one of these earlier. It's a Mudsdale, I think it was called. A Mudbray. Okay. Which I presume will be a Mudsdale as an evolved Pokemon. So I've heard the name before. It's Defense Rose. Oh, you're trying to be chonky, huh? That's okay. I'm using special attacks, so it doesn't matter. catch this and call it for the night. I'm like really tired. I've been kind of randomly nodding off every now and then tonight. And I gotta be up early for work tomorrow. Mudbray, the donkey Pokemon. Pokemon covers itself in mud that is it has regurgitated. Ew. The mud won't dry out even if it's exposed to the sun for a long time. Ew. Yo. We're gonna park right here. I don't know how either of these Pokemon evolve. We're gonna deal with that next time. Because I'm tired. I'm going to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'm still having fun with the game. It's been good. Uh, tomorrow, no stream. And I may try to stream after work on Saturday. Um, we'll see how that goes. I might have some stuff to do after work on Saturday, so I might not be able to. Uh, and then I will not be home on Sunday either. So uh, Hopefully I'll see you guys on Saturday. If not, I'll post some Discord. Um... If I'm busy or not. And yeah. So until then, hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Happy holidays to people. Hopefully you guys get some time off. Um 
that's really it. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Stay beautiful. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. It's a short list. See you guys. Hopefully Saturday, if not, next Tuesday. Until then, bye-bye.